Okay, let's have a look at the uh, the new online environment uh, that we have. So, if you haven't been into this space before, there's a couple of newbies in the room. We've got um, the 3P1 final design thesis um, in the my learning environment. Project information communication is where we have qualification overview contacts project information is a um, good one to go into where we've got a schedule you can jump on there and have a look at um, what's coming up in the classes uh, so not all that clear it's because it's an image that we upload so that we can um, make changes and let you know so just keep an eye on on this and what's happening each week uh, so today's just Monday we've just done their class today um, and on Thursday you can see we have Sonia is the teacher um, to be completed prior to the start of class chapters 1 and 2 of the presentation small business unit introductions chapters, chapters 1 and 2 so you can see as we go through the, uh, the schedule there what needs to be done before classes what's coming up um, that sort of thing. So if you know that you're away for a day or you can't make it, um, that's the information you'll be missing and that you need to, to follow up with emails and um, that sort of thing. Returning um, back here to... Sometimes it's easier to follow the, the crumbs back to the start, 3P1. Final design thesis, that'll take us back to the start. The learning pathways. This is where the seven stages of your design project presentations are all stored. As you can scroll up and down there to see. Um, so today, starting with our pre-design, um, always read the data. Read, read, read everything you see. Put in place. Make notes as needed. These are our presentations. The introduction we did today some information on the design brief, feasibility study, the construction costs. <coughs> Fee proposal, um, schedule an engagement agreement and then how to collate your data and add a cover sheet at the end. That information, if we go to the resources, is also stored in there. So in resources we can scroll down to the stage one resources. Those presentations are here in either movie mp4 format or pdf format for you to download um, so you can download those presentations and keep them on your um, PC to watch in your leisure and also back into resources is where we have title document the asset plan column, site levels um, there's some near map images down here is some um, site photos the engagement agreement you can download that that's a word document that you can um, use BDAB checklists are always fantastic um, to use um, and then we've got all the different staged resources um, progressing down the screen there so learning pathways stage one stage two is our site analysis where we can go in have a look around at that presentation and what's required. Uh, the presentation, um, looking at a couple of these samples for the design brief. Obviously I'm trying to stay away so it can't be reading that information because it's only confusing. Uh, cover sheet we have an introductory letter, uh, contents page and working the way through the brief is an old photo of the old building um, descriptions of the site, the overlays um, what the clients asked for, what sort of budget we're working with um, snippets in the report from planning schemes um, looks like some corners, I think that's the central business district plan that looks like a snippet out of the planning scheme so we're putting and collating all this information together uh, looks like a um, 
bit of information there on that title document, the little um, area that we need to be considerate of, the fire exit for Maya, uh, climate zone, um, and we work in then into the fees and um, a bit of a conclusion at the end there, and bibliography, working our way through three pages. We then have the appendix which is going to be the feasibility study construction costs, the schedule, uh, the planning property report um, and a few other bits and pieces. Uh, this other one here was good um, as a feasibility study um, starting off with zoning and bits and pieces there having a look at some of the information I think that's what's that ID dot ID um, is really good for a lot of information about Bendigo that sort of thing there might be a tip for you to do a bit of research um, and just identifying different properties that are about at the moment how much they are uh, what properties are leased how much they would cost per square meter that data is then collated in a table format um, commercial residential so you can get some comparisons on how to put the, what's feasible and what can happen um, there's some market demand in Bendigo figures coming in there and photos of existing places that are around how much they're rented for um, so that's the feasibility study pretty good example um, these are quotes moving into uh, that looks like Bureau of Meteorology information there climate data on uh, Bendigo district there sun angles sweeping across on a on a map there uh, so this is all part of that that stage one submission tables of all of the different areas you can see there's a bit of an image I'm not sure what that was generated on um, just that initial space planning is what's going to be where um, and, and working out how much to charge and the scheduling of when these bits and pieces will take place planning report engagement agreement uh, this one's been printed and filled out by hand which is just fine and then the livable housing uh, guideline has been put in there as well third edition so I think they're up to four now um, but that's just a bit of an introduction a bit of a what um, existing projects um, submissions have looked like in the past just a couple um, there's pluses and minuses on each one of these ones some people do different things better than others, obviously. Uh, but it's all about gathering, gathering that same knowledge, putting it all together, um, and getting used to this online environment, uh, making sure that you can log in, access all the data, and um, get the presentations working. Anything not working or having trouble, please get in contact with me. Let me know if there's something out of whack. Um, and um, yeah just email building design so that Sonia and I both get it and we can address it as soon as we can. hope that helps.